Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to episode 3 of Jurassic World Evolution 2 Sandbox Edition, The Park. Now, I want to just throw a little bit of a disclaimer out there that um, between shooting these, uh, well not shooting, wrong word, um, recording these episodes for Jurassic World, I've actually been taking a break from uh, Starfield. But don't worry, I'm still recording the um, episodes for Starfield. It's just that work and everything like that has just taken over my life, basically. Um, but I will start be re-recording the uh, Starfield series again uh, next week. Um, so, what are we going to be doing in this episode? So... I thought it's time to put in a, an Avery. Yes, an Avery. Um, so what I thought was, if we put it there, and then there, I'll put you there. So that should be, I don't know, big enough. Um, but what I want to do is actually, before we do that, I'm going to modify the path a little bit. So, so I want to just follow the curvature of the um, dome so that it somewhat looks mm. so it um, follows the dome and stuff so that it's relatively straight forward. Cool. So, actually, I'm, I've kind of made a mistake there. Um, <clears throat> so, what I want to do here is um, put in the Avery Hatchery there. Cool. That's better. Cool. And what I'll do is I'll just Sneak that round like that. Yep, that's gonna work just the way I want. Cool. So, what I'm going to do is actually design the Avery. Oop, that's not what I want. I want to put in decorations and stuff like that so that it. Um, looks quite interesting for the tourists. So it. Kind of looks lived in. So there's going to be perches of sorts in here. Um, put that there. And then if I put in some forest. <clears throat> Now, here's the kicker. If I put in them, that's the great thing about um, the Avery's, is that you can actually put in whatever you want, whenever you want. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put probably that there. That will be quite lovely. So <clears throat> cool. So it's only a small Avery. We're going to have multiple Averys in this uh, episode, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what I need to do is now, I just need to just modify the, 
water. Just, just a little bit. Because these are fish eating dinosaurs and they need to have fish. Um, so, what we can do. Okay, why is this not. Um, actually, hang on, I think I may have kind of stuffed up a little bit. Um, if I move you out of the way. And then I put you in here. And then they can feed like so. So we've got the log there, we've got that there got the forest here. Cool. Um, what else are we missing? Alright. Cool. Alright, time to have our first... Let's do a pterod uh, pterodon. And let's do a dimorphodon. And that way it will be quicker for the growth. Additional bays. The eggs. So while they're making whatever they're making, we can then begin to um, put in some drinks. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'll put in the coffee there. And the great thing about this is that I've actually learned that you can actually um, get really good um, what we want to do is that one there aquarium cool okay so the pterodon Dimorphodon. Hello, boys. So we'll have multiple um, Avery's scattered throughout the park. Um, that's the main thing about this is that we have multiple um, um, Avery's scattered. So, yes. Right, so let's reopen the park again. But, we're going to change some things. Yes. So, hi, apply. No, hi, okay. So we've got $32 million, and it's kind of going down at the moment because we've got no money. Um, but the next thing I want to do is, once the park is big enough, we can start looking at um, increasing the um, transport for the everyone. So, what I want to do is I'll put a couple of... Um, So, what I want to do is... Okay. Uh, toilets. Okay. Cool. 
and uh, what I want to do here. I was burning through money, but it's okay because at the moment I just want to make this. Worth its uh, weight in gold, if that makes sense. Okay, so we've got the Avery. Okay, so we've got the Ceratosaurus. Uh, Ceratosaurus. So we can uh, put that in this little area here. What I'm going to do, actually, is get rid of that for a minute. Okay. And then uh, put in our next lot of dinosaurs. Actually, hang on, I've had a better idea. Hang on. Do -do. Divide this up. is put the attractions in. I know this is going to be a repeat for the business, but it will have to do, unfortunately. Um, what I'll do here... is just be very sneaky with how I do this next bit. Ceratosaurus, they can, and the Allosaurus. Actually, so what I'm going to do is I've got three pens. Is I'm going to put the um, Baryonyx in. Well. Okay, so the Ceratosaurus can go into this collecting pen. asset. Heading to collect the asset. And the Allosaurus can have this pop one. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to just scatter some trees around just to make it empty. Making money again, that's good. Now this dinosaur is something special. Well, they're all something special, but this one stands out because of the horns on top of its head. It's called Ceratosaurus. It kind of looks like a slightly smaller T-Rex, but its bite is probably about the same. Seven, eight, nine dinosaur species so far. And what we can also do, ladies and gentlemen, is probably later down the track, is do a tour of all the pens. So it's going to be interesting. Asset has been delivered. Probably the T Rex one, because that's going to be the biggest. Carnivores, do we have? Uh, carnivore. Oh, we could do a Dilophosaurus exhibit. Well, actually, that would be actually quite interesting. Oh, Metatyrannosaurus. Oh, Mangejongosaurus. We can do one of them. <gasps> Pyroraptor. I want to do one of those. Trudon. So many exhibits to do. I just want to get all the carnivals out of the way, basically. <coughs> Transportation complete. Transporting asset. Oh, okay. Uh, the baryonyx will need. Okay, I'm gonna have to change my plan because the baryonyx likes fish. I did. For I forgot about that. Um. So and let's do a. Okay, we've got a Carnotaurus. No, we don't. We've got um a Ceratosaurus. Let's do a Carnotaurus. <coughs> <coughs> okay, they're they're easy to bake. Okay, 
uh, this pond uh, enclosure here. Transit. Okay, so I need to put a restroom in here. That's good. Um, Asset transported. Oh, yes. Nice, a Carnotaurus. You could recognize this predator immediately by the horns on its head, which give it a real rock and roll appearance. Those powerful legs can get this dinosaur moving as well, so probably best to stay out of its way. This dinosaur is so metal. That's the great thing about this view, so we can... Okay. okay. I know you're lonely, but you've got brothers and sisters coming soon, so... That's the main thing. Asset in transit. Okay. Confirming asset delivery. Next thing I want to do is there we go. Fences in. Um, oops, hang on. Uh, where can I put? Oh, there you are. No. Right. That's the main Delivery thing. has been completed. So we've got three new dinosaurs in play. Actually, no. Yeah, we've got three. No. We've got three. Yeah, we've got the Indoraptor, the Indominus Rex, the Velociraptors, the T Rex, uh, the Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and 
this Carnotaurus. So, yes. So, our little family is growing up. So, and, the, and we've also got our flying dinosaurs in the aviary over here, which we're going to be expanding in probably another couple of episodes or so. So, thank you everyone, and I will see you again in the next episode.